A video was released to the media of a sanctioned prison barbecue. The video was recorded and produced on a laptop by inmates in Post 24. The activity took place at Post 24, uh, which is the minimum in uh, unit. Uh, it was over by the farm area. The corrections director's brother, Senator Adolfo Palacios, is the chair of the legislative committee on public safety and has demanded an explanation on when the barbecue took place. What, what is disturbing at this point, what is concerning to me is that that video is from the hard drive of the laptop that's under the custody of GPD as part of the evidence in this uh, Varango murder. 43-year-old Arlen Franco starred in the video and was murdered on May 19th, eight months after the video was made. Yes, the video was produced on or about October 9th of 2009. The director confirms that the barbecue was authorized by the Department of Corrections and... The footage um, was in the hard drive of a laptop, uh, and that laptop has been in the custody of the police department since May. In the video, inmates Roly Bautista and Matthew Fithingmo are seen brandishing an axe. We asked Director Palacios, would the average islander find this to be a problem? It's disturbing. It's, you look at that, that and you ask yourself, when he was holding that axe, was he holding it and, and was there any threat being projected to anybody? Those are things that you're going to find at a farm. An axe, a machete, a bush cutter, a shovel, a pick. Those are things that you find there. The same question could then be asked. Why is this inmate holding a knife, chopping up the vegetables and the meat? Because a knife is what you would find in a kitchen. Director Palacios feels the axe is a non-issue, but... The threat that it poses, where you can actually get video of movement, personnel movement, security movement, Jeez. deployments, shift change, uh, deliveries and so forth. Those are the things that can compromise security. Well, I can assure the public that the professionalism of the men and women of the Department of Corrections has never been compromised. Uh, the dedication and the commitment to public safety has never been compromised. Is it embarrassing? If you look at it, yeah, it's embarrassing, especially to the warden. So are you going to stick by the warden in this one? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm sticking by the warden. Jose Palacio says if an oversight hearing is needed, then so be it. He's prepared for that. Reporting for Guam News Watch, I'm Michael Rudolph.